Hello, everybody. A big, warm, colourful welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day, um, for taking your time out for the last day of March. And it's very interesting because I realized today, actually, that from a vibration point of view, while we have the vibration of March is about yellow, stepping into your power, um, moving forwards, um, letting go of the fears that no longer serve you, today's vibration itself um, is actually green. And green okay, thank is associated you. with money, green is associated with balance, with healing, with abundance. And having the yellow and the um, green together, because actually green does contain uh, a bit of the vibration of yellow in it, it really is about stepping into your power. And I, when I set this um, date, the date actually kind of came to me, and I didn't really realize until today, until I was sitting and connecting, that um, it is a day, and what I'm going to talk about today is really about stepping into your power, about being abundant and about really, um, I mean, going for gold, going for the dreams, going for your heart's desires and realizing that you are limitless, you are worthy, you are deserving and you can do this. So without further ado, just a couple of housekeeping rules. Thank you. If everybody can mute themselves, please. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'll be doing a connection now and I just want to make sure that this connection is, um, you know, clear for everybody to kind of really go in and, and take what you need from um, this masterclass today. So, uh, let's begin. Let's begin. Is somebody still here that's um, making noise? Who is it? Mm. Marcia, you can click on participants and then choose option mute everyone. So manage manage participants. Yes. Yes. And, um, I can't find that. Okay, I think everyone is muted now. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's go. Okay, um, let's do a connection first and then I'll introduce you um, to who I am and what we're going to do with this class. So, <clears throat> take a couple of deep breaths, breathing in goodness and breathing out anything you want to let go of, breathing in goodness and breathing out anything you want to let go of. Breathing in goodness and breathing out anything you want to let go of. And on the next breath, I want you to just breathe in. And as you breathe in, I just want you to acknowledge how you're feeling right now without wanting to change it. And on the out breath, I want you to completely surrender and release. I want you to take another deep breath. Acknowledging and honoring your feelings and letting it go. And taking another deep breath, honoring your feelings and completely letting go. Now feel your feet on the floor underneath you. And this is just reminding you how supported you are. You have the floor holding you. You have your feet and legs holding you to stand or holding you to sit. If you're sitting, you have the chair that's supporting you and just being aware. And for, for just this class, just allow yourself to lean back into the seat or into the couch that you're in and allow you for this hour to be taken care of. Allow you to let me hold the space for you to experience today tra the transformation that you need to take you to where your soul is calling you. 
And now, as you allow this, you just notice that there is a, like a magnet of energy, like a pull at your feet down into the floor, down into the earth, down through your earth star, down, down, down into the heart of the earth, the purest space on the earth plane. <clears throat> Take a deep breath as you connect with this grounding mother earth energy, abundant, pure, loving, nurturing, divine feminine, mothering energy. And now feel this playfully move up from the heart of source, from the heart of the earth, down, up through your, the earth, into your earth star, into your feet, up your legs, and you'll feel a lovely kind of a solid feeling in your legs. This is you being grounded and fully being called to be present. <clears throat> the strength that you get from this alone. Up through the trunk of your body. Up through your shoulders, down your arms, hands and fingers. Up through your throat, up your face, out through the crown of your head and up to your soul star, which is six inches above the crown of your head. I just want you to be aware of the energy that we're connecting in here, okay? And now we're going to invite pure, absolute, divine love to descend down from the heart of source. down into your soul star, into the crown of your head. For me, I see this as a beautiful sunlight that's filled with unconditional love. It's very, very transparent and very light and very beautiful. Down into your eyes so you can see more clearly down into your ears so you can hear more clearly, that you will hear the words that you need to hear, that you will hear the calling that you need to hear from this masterclass to help you on your soul mission and your soul's journey. Down into your throat so you can be cleared and aligned, so you, you can speak your truth. <clears throat> down into your shoulders and we're going to lift all the worries, all the shoulds, all the concerns. Just feel them fly away like butterflies. They want to be free. A butterfly won't be happy when it's caged. Let them go, just like that. Release them down into your arms, hands and fingers, so you can open up your arms to this level of magnificent energy. So that you can open up your arms to your heart's desires. We're about to go into April, which is all about heart, all about the heart. Open yours up to yourself first, and from that place, you're going to open that up to your mission, to your desires, to your clients, to whatever your dreams are. Down into your solar plexus, your power center. Here you're allowing yourself to be present in your power. The divine presence is here. You are divinity. You are made in the image and likeness of God. You are one of him. You have his power. 
inside you. You can do anything you want to do. Anything. Nothing is limitless for her in this energy. Down into your sacral. This creative feminine power. This is where babies are created. Down into your hips. Can we just mute there? Down into your legs. And here, the hips and the legs, it's all your, having your physical needs met, having your financial needs met, having everything that you need met. Feel it. Down into your Earth star and down into the heart of the earth again. And now I want you to bring your attention to your heart. And I want you to invite this pure, divine source of magnificence into your life, into your heart now. And I want you to invite the earth, the mother earth energies into your heart and feel the meat, feel the oneness, feel the wholeness, feel the connectedness, feel the divine feminine. What is the divine feminine? The divine feminine is creativity, love, nurturing, Wisdom, knowing, intuition, power, love, the divine masculine. What is that? It's presence, it's strength, it's honor, it's respect, it's love. And bringing those two energies together, feel them coming together as one. Do you feel the difference? It's centered, it's connected, and it's pure. And now let this build like a vortex in your heart. And as it goes through your heart, I want you, every single feeling, every single emotion, every single aspect of who we are is in our heart. So what I want you to do now, as this energy, this oneness comes together and it's moving through your heart, it's like a scan. And anything that is less than pure divine love, light, limitlessness, power, abundance, it's literally going, oh, that's a block transforming it into pure divine love and light. Oh, that doesn't sit right. Ooh, transforming that into pure divine love and light in your heart. You'll feel your heart start to, you might feel a little vibration, some of you. You might feel a bit of a heat. You might feel a coolness. You might feel an opening. But you'll feel an expansion. You might have to move your shoulders back to allow this expansion, to allow this door to open up in your heart. Beautiful. Well, well done. Now let that expand into your back, into your spine, into your vertebrae, into your muscles in your back. Your back holds you. It's a very important part of our, of our human body. So when I walk with my clients, the first, one of the first things I do is I use this diagnostic spine chart to, to check to see where are the blockages, what level are they at, are they, which parts of those are they working with, which parts are they not aware of. And from there I can tell the color and the complementary color that, that the person needs to bring them into harmony. So the back is essential. Let that now expand from your heart down into your solar plexus, up through your shoulders, down your arms, hands and fingers. This oneness down into your 
sacral, again, down into your hips, through your legs, up through your throat, out through your head, and out through your energetic field, up to your soul star, down into your earth star, and now out to the universe. And now I want you to put your hand on your heart and I want you to connect in and just set from this place of oneness that I have created for you. What is your intention? And maybe you'd like to share this intention in the chat box. What is your intention of spending one hour of your lunchtime, of your valuable time here? What do you want to get from this? Just set that intention. Feel the excitement of your heart. And feel free to share in the chat box <coughs> what your intention is so I can ensure that we, we realize that intention today. So, what I've introduced you to just now, this is the place that I always start with. Every morning for me. Every time I work with clients, this is what I start with. This is where it all, the magic begins. This is where it starts. And just remember, that those of you that stay to the end, I'm going to do a little draw and there's going to be three um, blends, color blends that I have created, that I've had created actually. Um, one is red and the red um, essential oil is fantastic for groundedness, presence, connectedness, success, um, it's very, it's a brilliant, brilliant, the, the, the red ray is a brilliant color to help us have our needs met, whatever that, those needs are, because we have all different needs. Then there's a beautiful um, green one. And the green one is about abundance, healing, and money. And <clears throat> the magenta one, yes, <laughs> lovely. Oh, great. So I've asked Inga to write out the names of all the people who are live, and then I'm going to get her at the end to pull out some names. Um, and the, um, the, the other one is magenta. Now magenta is an absolutely beautiful color, and it's about business acumen. It's about nurturing, it's the divine, divine love. The magenta really has very much of the divine mother energy in it. And, um, it's, it's really, 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 really beautiful. So this is what you're up to have um, in, the, uh, in those essences. Um, so I'll do that later. Now, I just want to share maybe some of the comments about what your intentions, because even though you've said it to yourself, you've said it to the divine, I also like, I feel that the, when you say things verbally, when you say things out, then it's, 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 it's another form of manifestation. So um, let's see how I can see all of these. Um, now, I don't know why this happens to me. So let me go back. I can't see all the chats. Let me go back and see if I can find them. So um, I'll start with the ones I can see. Uh, so good with the flow and launching heart first into my soul purpose. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, Patty. To remove all blocks to receiving, um, rece to receiving and receiving money in particular. Absolutely wonderful. So we just ask that now. And so it is to remove all blocks to receiving. What have I got up here? I can't see the other chats. So do you want to read them out, Inga? Oh, I have, um, to all blocks. Yeah, I've only got to, I can only see to all um, blocks to receiving money in particular. Can you see the others, Inga? 
Oh, yes, I can. Can you see the mouth then? Yep. So, okay, so create beautiful abundance. Right, so to create beautiful abundance, and so it is. To forgive myself for a hard decision I have had to make today. Right hand in your heart to forgive myself for a hard decision I've had to make today. To connect with myself again. To connect with myself again. Okay. So to remove all blocks of wealth and abundance which are my divine birthright and for the wealth and abundance to flow through my life with ease and enable me to do anything I am desire whenever I desire it. Beautiful, beautiful. That's too long for me to repeat. So we like we yeah, see just, out in the earth, out in the, the cosmos. Yeah. <clears throat> so then let abundance flow into my life. Beautiful. I remove all obstacles to be open to receive more income. Fantastic, and so it is. And we ask that anybody watching the replay, that all their intentions are taken into this energy and all the stories, all the blocks are transformed into pure divine love and light. So it is, so it is. Take a deep breath and release. Take a deep breath and release. So free from guilt and blame and a stronger aura and personal power. Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful to be through that as well into the mix. So I feel actually the image I'm getting actually as I'm doing this is it's like a big, I feel like a witch actually. <laughs> I feel like a big, huge kind of um, old, um, kind of oh it's kind of a, a stove and in it and there's lights underneath it and in it all those are going into that it's like a pot a big pot and it's all being transmuted and transformed into pure divine love and light wonderful so for those of you who don't know me who am i so I'm Marcia Regan and I'm a color alchemist and a spiritual business mentor. And I have been making now 10K months, uh, just the, only just the last six months. And this probably is why it's so important for me to um, do this um, masterclass because I spent, oh, I'm doing this work over a decade. and it's only now that I'm really feeling that, that this flow in all, you know, in all aspects, flow in my energy, flow in my well-being, flow in my finances, flow in my business, flow in my clients as well, really. Um, it's, a, it's, it's really working on a whole new um, level of consciousness and it's absolutely beautiful. And so if I had had this information 10 years ago, then, um, then things would have been very different. So I, I suppose I don't want anybody to, um, you know, go through the struggle, go through the, you know, doing, you know, doing all the right things and still not getting the results. Um, focusing, you know, if you are someone who is, you know, spiritually minded, is a light worker, or is, a, you know, is a coach, but who really brings in, is very much aware about the energy, a person who's very sensitive, then I, in my experience and the clients that I've, you know, that I work with, um, you're not, you're most likely not techie and you're saying to yourself, yeah, but I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how to do the tech. I don't, you know, so I can't do this. It's not about the tech. I can tell you that now. I have made, um, you know, six, I've had six figure launches and I've had no web page. That goes against everything that you've been told. But what I have done is I've shown up and what I have done is I have owned my power. I've believed in myself. And I think this really um, has come as well um, because one of my um, sole missions is to help people like you who have come here 
to, to actually to help you be the person you came here to be and to do the things that you came here to do. And one of my guides is my mother. And she came to me, um, so she died five years ago, and I've realized that she's my guide. And I might get emotional now about it because it's so dear and so important for ye to hear this as women. Because why she came to me was, she said to me, so we learn an awful lot from our mothers. We learn an awful lot, and an awful lot of it is we learn a lot from um, our behaviors are very linked to our mother's behaviors. And particularly as daughters, I think we, you know, I have my daughter, my own daughter, and I can really see that there's an awful lot of unspoken language that, that we, um, we know from each other, we know without saying. And um, my mother is my guide now, and she's really got me to do this um, a masterclass today because she said to me, when she came to me, that she was very proud of me. Um, but what she taught me was to work hard. She never sat down. She always gave everything away and never kept anything for herself. So she was always coming from a place of lack without realizing. And now that she's in spirit and she's in a whole other level, she's, she's here as my guide to, to show me that, you know, she's calling me Mag. Mag, um, look after yourself first, Gerline. What does that mean? That means having a healing session every month. That means getting my nails done. That means getting my hair done um, at the hairdressers. That means going to my favorite coffee shop and having a coffee and enjoying that time. That means me taking five minutes in my couch to do breathing and relax before I and center myself um, and ground myself before I go and pick up my children so I can be more present as a mother. So this is what this means to me. Um, whatever that means to you, what, what would that mean for you? So the big message, I think, in all of this, the big message, and to be honest, it's only since I've been doing all these things that I have been living 10K months. And if you were to take anything away from it before we even get into the nitty gritty, it, that's what I'll say to you. You can do all the talking, you can do all the doing, but I am telling you, it's the being. It's the being that will get you the results. It's the being that will, the sense of being that will make the difference. And, we'll, and I want to introduce you to, to, this, to this feeling. And, you know, I think it's women too, you know, we can be riddled with guilt if, you know, um, this, this, this guilt, it's, it, don't feel guilty that you are um, getting your hair done. Don't feel guilty that you're looking after yourself because, you know, this is where you can make a difference because you have to do, to show, to inspire um, others and give them permission to do the same. And people will learn from the doing. People will see, people will see me, they'll say, oh my God, you look so radiant. You have three kids under six. Um, how do you do it? How do you, you know, how come you're, um, always in good form? How come you uh, can give so much to your clients? How come you can be so more, much more available? How? how? Because I am looking after the self-care. Because I am no longer pushing. Because I'm no longer striving. Because my energy is no longer drained. But how that is, is because um, I am doing this connection that I introduced you today. I am doing the grounded that I introduced you today. I am doing the presence that I, I showed you today in the first five minutes of the call. This is how I'm doing it. And so today I'm going to introduce you to three main blocks keeping you from um, 10K with ease. You know what I've learned? 
1K, 500 euros, 10K, 100K, a million. It's all the same energy. I'm going to say that again. All those figures that I have mentioned, it is all the same energy. It's our relationship to those figures. It's our beliefs, belief to those figures. It's our blocks to those figures. It's our conditioning to those figures. It's our, maybe it's our energetic lineage to those figures. It even might be in our DNA. These are all the kinds of things that I work with when I work with my clients because I don't, everybody is different. So it's not a cookie cutter. Every single one of you are completely different. So it's finding what your thing is. So today, I'm not going to come on here and say, you'll follow the after this call, you will make 10K. Maybe you will. I've had a call with, people, with, with a client and they had a block and I went on the call and literally the next day they did make 10K. Maybe you will. But maybe you won't because of us needing to explore or you needing to explore what, what you need. What I do know is that for you to have 10K, there are a couple of things that are essential. Self-care, the courage to say yes to yourself, the willingness to change and ideally, investing in a mentor. This is what, or investing in some form of support. Some cheerleader, someone that you can, that like a group of people that you know love you for who you are. A group of people who can, who, who can create, who can cry with you, who can laugh with you, who can cheerlead you, who can let you be vulnerable, who can let you be powerful and knowing because they know that, that as you rise, they are going to rise because we're all connected and the people that you spend your most time with are the people that are going to influence your life. And it's the same around the whole money situation. If you look around, maybe look at the five people that you would spend most of your time with and what is their money? How much, do they take, how much of money do they have? And so that gives you an indication of multiply that by five, what your capacity to earn that money. Okay. So <clears throat> this is what I want to introduce you to today. And the first thing that probably you have guessed that's actually your block to 10K is your energy, your vibe. The energy that you bring to things affects the results that you receive. If you change your vibration, and you know this, you know this, this isn't anything new. If you change, if you change your vibration, you can change everything overnight. People feel you, they feel your vibe. You vibrate in energy whether you're aware of it or not. If you're feeling centered, if you're feeling grounded, if you're feeling confident where you are and if you, this lights you up and people feel into your frequency. That's the first point about energy. The second point about the energy is that the frequency that you are means that you will attract the same frequency back. Okay. Now, I'm going to introduce you later on as we go through here, what I'm talking about here, about the frequency of 10K and just feeling in to the frequency and playing with this. Okay. But what if you are a light worker, like I said, or someone like me, where you are creative, you are natural, you know you have a gift. Doing the practical, the funnels, putting your energy in to the admin, to the funnels, to the marketing, to the doing. 
in my experience, most people are spending 80% of their time there when they should be spending 20% of their time there. They should be spending 80% of their time on their vibration and looking after themselves and increasing their intuition in getting to know who they are at a soul level and their soul mission and clearing their energy every single day. Just like you get up and have a shower and brush your teeth, you should be clearing your energy every single day without fail. And this will make a huge difference because this means that when you take one action, an inspired action, by the way, it won't be from the mind, it'll be from the, feet, the calling. Like I had a call, do this masterclass on the 31st of March when at 1 p.m. and I did it, right? I'm showing up. And the results will me, that means that the, the action that I take, the results that I will get, the feelings I will get, the people that I will reach, instead of it, that one step, it'll be like as if I've taken 10 steps. And this is what energy is about. The other thing is, is that when I ask people, why did you reach out to me? Because of your energy. It's your energy. That's why they reached out to me. I'm like, really? That's really amazing. Oh, yeah. I, they couldn't. They were like, oh, I just, just felt drawn to you. I just felt drawn to your energy. So if you focus on the energy, people will see how passionate you are. <coughs> people will feel you. They'll, they'll just feel a connection. And they can't describe it. But they know that they want to speak with you in some shape or form. And when that happens, when that connection happens, both parties, because I learn from my clients and my clients learn from me, it's an exchange. And in that beautiful space where I reflect back to the person that I work with, the beauty that I see in their soul, and they reflect back to me, the learning that I need, then it's, a, it's, it's the most magical wonderful experience and this is what one of the bases of you coming into contact with 10k and why is that because money loves to bring joy you need to be in a joyful space especially if you're doing spiritual work because you're working with energy and Money is energy. So the spiritual energetic state of you needs to be in alignment with the energy of money. Okay? And I will show you that today because I so you can feel it. You can feel it. Money is an energy. And in fact, money is a tool. So I see lots of people going out spending a lot of money getting their qualification to be whatever it is they want to be, to be the coach, to be the EFT practitioner, to be an angel therapist, to, to whatever that is. But in fact, that's great. But what you really need now, now to do once you have those qualifications is you need to invest in your own energy, in who you are, into, because you know, Business success, it's all inner game. It's all inner stuff. It's, and part of that, your number one thing is, if you want to earn money, um, can somebody mute there? I think we have someone unmuted. Um, then, um, Right, sorry about that. Um, then this is why it's so important to have money. You have to be in the, in the same vibration, the, the energetic vibration, and to hold that level of capacity. Because if you're a 10K entrepreneur, there's certain things that you would need to be doing and showing up as. So self-care. So if you had 10K today, what would you be doing? How would you be showing up? 
how disciplined would you be? <clears throat> so I want to give you one takeaway um, that will help you start playing with that idea. Okay, spirit loves playful, playfulness. It's very, very playful. So I want you to start your week next week by letting go of the expectation of you needing money. And I want you to show up as someone who has 10K flowing into their lives, serving the people that they have been contracted to serve. Opening your arms and your heart to receive and be guided by spirit. And the thing is, is that there are hidden reasons affecting your energy. So by working on this, by working with someone like me, then you'll be able to uncover what this is. So just to give you an example, um, I worked with a client um, recently, Denise, and um, we were actually doing about work for about a month. Um, she was doing an awful lot of sales calls, um, but she just felt stuck, like she just couldn't close the sessions. And we'd be doing an awful lot of inner work, a lot of different conditioning that we had cleared. And <clears throat> so anyway, I had a cue, I said, yeah, there's, some, there's something, let's, let's just have a call, let's just get it over and done with, let's just do this. And what, happened, what came up actually was the block for her um, came from her birth. So I went into the energy of, of what was showing up and I was taken saying, yeah, this is something to do with your, um, your birth. And we went in and we transformed and we went into the energy we found out where it was, we transformed it, we connected in with what it needed and we up-leveled it to another energy and then I brought that through every cell of her being. And after our session, the following day, she made 10,000 pounds. Now, you think, yeah, I mean, how can you explain that? This is, it's the shifting of the energy, but it's the showing up. Showing up, she was already... And she already was following that advice about, you know, imagining how what would a you know, 10K person doing, but she was actually going into the calls too from a place of need rather than from a place of opening up the space. And the, this need came from the birth, from the birth energy. So we cleared that and moved it. And literally like that, when you work on this level of energy, it can all change like that. Right. Um, so the other thing is, the other part is the lack of connection. The second block that's keeping you is the lack of connection of who you are. And so this leads me on beautifully about how you're showing up is everything. What you do each day is what an entrepreneur who brings in 10K would be doing. What are you doing? Who are you? Who are you? An awful lot of us know what you need to be doing, but are you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? What are you, what, like, even if you want this 10K, what are you afraid of? What would happen? Is it that would people, are you afraid that people mightn't like you? Are you afraid that people might judge you? Are you afraid that maybe your friends mightn't be able to connect with you? Are you afraid that if you had that money, then, you'd, then everybody would come into you and expect that you'd give it away? I don't know. What, what is it? So by connecting in with who you are on the soul level, and this is where I, um, on my six-week program, I would do the, diagnost I do the diagnostic chart, and then I move into your soul color blueprint, and this is where we get to know who you are on a soul level, what your soul color personality is, what color and attributes you've been born with that are inside you. If you, for example, were born a red, then you can no longer tell yourself the story that you're not a leader because red is leadership. You can no longer tell yourself the story that you can't be good at this because red is success. Because you've that inside you. Then you have a color and a tribute 
that's here to help you. So you have come in, every single one of you have come in with a soul mission, with all the gifts that you need inside you, and you are here to bring those out, to learn from what it's like to live in this planet. And if you look actually in the last, let's say 10, 15 years, what you've been doing, then you are being prepared to, to do your soul work. And it's specifically life workers and spiritual coaches we are being called on now. Now to step up and stand in because people need us more than ever. The amount of people that are awakening, they're awakening every single second of every day and they are looking for someone to help them. They are looking for someone to take them out of the pain that they're in. You, where you are today, would you like to leave someone in the pain that you were in without, you know, back then? Would you, wouldn't it be great if you, what were all that you've learned that, that you knew this 10 years ago to save yourself all the heartache? This is why I'm doing this, because I know that the knowledge that I am working from, the space, the energy, the, the, the vibe that I'm in is so much more in uplifting it's so much more living from a spirit than the old pattern the old place that i was in and the thing is is that what i've learned is that once you get to that 10k what the key then is is staying initially you need to do some uh, work to keep yourself in that vibe to anchor that in so it's going to be your um, bottom line so that you won't be saying oh I'm at 10k and then you'll find next month or the month after that you'll be dropped down to where you are because at the beginning it's it's like um, it's like an airplane when you're taking off it's finding the bit of turbulence at the beginning so you need to find that to get to cruising altitude before you can go to your beautiful destination, to Maui or to wherever it is you're going in your holiday. And that holiday destination is going to be your everyday living. And that's what getting to know you is about. And then the other aspect of knowing who you are is what you've come back to learn, the color and attribute you've come back to learn. And then from that place, then you can start creating stuff. Then you can start really, really showing up because you are coming in as all of you. You are not just a physical body. You are not just an emotional body. You are not just a spiritual body. You are not just a mind and ego. You are a combination of everything. You are love. You are light. You are uh, resistance. You are fear. You're all of those things. But how long you let yourself stay in and, and be those aspects of who you are is up to you. And it's deciding. It is not on one level easy to look at this, to, to look within. That's why you need, the spa you need someone to hold the space to reach out. Um, and I'd say one of my bigger, big gifts really is my capacity to say to when I'm working with somebody to reach out and say, you're on my mind, what's going on for you? Let's deal with it. Why would you want to stay in that energy? You can move the energy very, 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 very quickly. <clears throat> so before I go on to the next um, phase, which is ego talk, I want you just to connect. I'm going to introduce you to connect in with the energy of what I've been talking about, about feeling into, um, into 10K. Into 10K. Let's get into it. Um, so let's take a couple of deep breaths and I want you to imagine yourself as someone who is serving, who's passionate about what they do every day when they wake up in the morning. So you are somebody that wakes up in the morning and you realize that you're doing your passion. And you realize that you are going to be working with beautiful, loving souls today and making a difference in their lives. And you realize that you have no money worries. 
Because at 10K, you don't have money worries, okay? This is why we're going to the 10K, just for you to feel into it. And you just feel so grateful. You feel so happy and so joyful for this reality. You fully believe in yourself. You are fully in your power as a divine feminine and you are present in your power. You feel liberated. You feel absolutely amazing. Feeling into that energy. Feeling into that energy. Your dream in your heart has come true. What are you doing? How are you showing up? How are you spending your day? Maybe you're working 20, 30 hour week. And I want you to imagine that you're going, going to your bank account, you're going to your PayPal account, and all you see is like 10K coming in. And you just feel, and this is showing you how much you're serving. Because the other aspect to realize in this is that the more people have invested, the more they are invested in themselves. The more they won't want to cop out, the more they will show up, the more they will get from the work that you do with them. Still needs to just go down a little bit more into your feet. So just keep with this. You can do this. It's safe for you. Put your hand in your heart. It's safe for me to have this. I allow myself just to feel this for a few moments, to connect in with this vibration. It's nearly there. It just needs to go through into the soles of the feet. It's just at the top of the feet for now. Well done. Surrender. Surrender, allow. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? I want you to connect in now. You're there, you're in the feeling. Connecting in with this and acknowledging that this is the 10K vibration. Lean back into it. Surrender into it. What is the color it represents? Where do you feel the birth of this 10K sitting in your energy or your body? Anchor that in, 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 and feel that expand through every layer of that part of your body or energy, every cell of your being, every layer of your skin. I can do this. Out through your energetic field and out to the universe. I am available for 10K. Repeat after me. I am available for 10K. I am safe in the universe. All life loves and supports me. It's safe for me to have 10K. Anchor that feeling in that color throughout your whole body, through every atom, every organ, every cell, every system, down into your earth star and up to your soul star. Take a deep breath and release. Are you smiling like I am? This now, 
I want you to connect in here. Stay in this with me, please. And I want you to see from this place what is the advice that you are given from your higher self for this to be your reality. Thanks, give thanks. And if you didn't get it now, you might get it in the coming days, that's okay. Take a deep breath, cross your hands over your knees to anchor that in. And just realign you. <coughs> and just let me know maybe in the chat box how that felt for you. And as you're doing that, the third and final part or main block that I see to 10K is ego talk. So Nicholas says, wonderful, Marcy. It's all in its way. Beautiful, beautiful. So your ideas are taking over. You are being pulled on many different directions and you lack the focus. So Claudia is saying, very powerful to connect and let go. Beautiful. Let go, let God, Claudia. Deborah, amazing. So joyful. Yellow and service. Serve from my heart. Yes. When you are in that vibration, it really, you're not coming from a place of need. You're not coming from a place of lack. You're coming from a place of abundance. You're coming from a place of beauty. So the ego talk, what happens there is, I'm not good enough. Who do I think I am? People will think I'm a fraud. Oh no, I can't. What if? So then what happens is you connect, that you commit then to a program, right? And then what I see happening is let's say you connect to, you, you commit to having, um, to a coaching package. And what I see then is they're, they're in the coaching package, but then I see them doing um, challenges. So there's a challenge for, I don't know, um, a challenge uh, I don't know how to break five figures for example or there's another challenge to um, being more healthy or there's another challenge doing something else so I'm like hold on a minute and then I pick them up over it I think hold on a minute you're in this program with me and you need to be focusing and applying yourself and your energy to your dreams. How much time are you spending in those Facebook groups, following those um, challenges? Mainly actually probably half those challenges you can, you're not free to turn on with, up to. So then you feel uh, you're verbating yourself. I didn't do that. That's more guilt. Giving out to yourself, oh, I'm always a bloody same. I'm not going to do that. You see, do you see how that pulls you in a completely different then you have excuses, justifications. You know, justification of pricing, why you can and can't do something. That leads to overwhelm. And when you're in overwhelm, then you have an, you've got an inability to make a decision and stick to it. And this is what happens. So I just see here a few comments. So, uh, so get the feeling of orange. It doesn't matter which color you, you felt. Yes, it does. Um, so for Deborah, she got yellow. So that's a sign for her that it's really is stepping in and owning her power. Orange, it's you connecting into your creative feminine power. So the practical side, okay, is important, but really it's you connecting in with your create the, the intuition, the, the letting go of long-standing hearts, maybe that no longer serve you, and really going for positivity. That's what something like, and connecting with that creative feminine power is what's going to take you there. So Mrs. Kindle, I see magenta, white, and managing, feeling satisfied and free. So magenta, nurturing for you, connecting with divine love, white, clearing the decks, decluttering, clearing your mind, clearing your energy, decluttering your home, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's your thing. Uh, Joan, yellow, yeah, you're owning your power. You know this. 
Mania, dark blue and red, feeling a power invading me. Yeah, so dark blue for you, interesting enough, is trusting yourself. Trust yourself, use your intuition. Mania and red, grounding. Grounding, 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 around and bring present. Laura, pale blue, blue around the throat. For you, Laura, divine mother. You will need to connect in with the divine mother energy. Speaking your truth, expansion, being seen, being visible. Deirdre, magenta, all in your heart. Yeah, walking with love. Yeah, Dee, that's absolutely it, love. Yeah, totally. So do you see how... We have all the information we need. We have it. So it's stop the excuses. Get out of your own way. And <coughs> coming back to what I said at the beginning, the ego is the talk about being afraid of what people would think of you. Does it make you uncomfortable? Do you believe that you can't be spiritual and have money? Do you believe that you can't be healthy and have money? Do you believe that you can't be in love and have money or be a very good mom and have money? It's all about claiming the 10K. It's about claiming this energy that you have connected in with today. You can't please everyone. You are not on this planet to please everybody. You're here to show up. You're here to be the best version of yourself. You are here to serve and you are here to go after your dreams. You are not here to stay small. You are not here to tell yourself those things. And this, by the way, is not easy on one level because like I said at the beginning, it's going to take courage. It's going to take discomfort. It's good. But where you are at is painful and where you can go to the having the 10K will be discomfort. So what I can liken it to is giving birth. So I gave birth and from the research that I had done, I decided that I wanted to do this without painkillers. Um, over here in Belgium, you do not get gas and air. You either decide to do it without anything or do it with the epidural. I decided that I was going to do it without the epidural. But what I did do is I did the preparation to ensure that I gave my be myself the best chance, the best possibility to do this because I didn't want my children to have um, the epidural in their systems because it does go into their systems. And I'd also heard that there are cases where, um, when they, where, where the injection is given, that it can actually affect your spine. So I showed up. I did hypnobirthing. I um, did my color. So I did my visualization. I, you, I wrapped the, the baby in a beautiful golden light. I wrapped myself. I asked myself every day what I needed. I gave myself that color. I rested, I kept on, I used tools of, um, so when it came to having, um, I didn't call them contractions because I'm big into words. Like I hear some of my clients saying, I'm, you know, I'm going to push through it. No, you're not. You're going to rise through it. Do you see the difference? Push, rise. So I used, instead of contractions, I used um, waves. And what I saw is, is that every time a wave came, I thought it's only a minute and then I rested for the next five minutes. I mean, I rested completely for the next five and three minutes. And then I was ready for the next wave. And every time I had that wave, I knew I was being brought closer to my baby. And I, for my first um, delivery, it, it, it all happened within 10 hours. And there were six of us in the group who all decided to go down the uh, epidural route and they had 14 hours, 24 hours in labor, and I had 10. On my second pregnancy, I didn't know I was in labor. I just had, um, again, I was what I was doing as well as part of the hypnobirthing was I was 
telling myself, telling my body, this baby is, you know, is beautiful. And when the baby's ready, it's going to know how to come very easily and effortlessly down the birth canal. All my muscles are loosening and softening. And this baby slips out ever so beautiful into my arms. Everything is softening, and I was bringing the baby into this beautiful um, golden room of light. And my second one was born within an hour and a half. I got to the hospital at um, 6.30, and I was eight centimeters dilated. And um, I, uh, he was born at 7.40. And in my third, it was a little bit longer, um, I woke up at six, again, my mother came to me, I woke up at 6 a.m., got the message, my, my mother came and I said, today is the day, at seven o'clock I started my contractions, or it's like I was calling waves, I went and dropped my kids off to school with the little waves coming and going, and then at 12 o'clock I rang my husband and said, yeah, come back from work. I think we need to go. And um, in fact, I got to the hospital around one and she was born at four. All, and they were saying to me in the, in the delivery room, Chief, you know, Marcy O'Regan, like, how do you do it? How do I do it? Because I did the energy preparation because I didn't believe that it was painful. I didn't believe that it had to be pain. It was discomfort but there's a very big difference between pain and discomfort. So when we're in the entrepreneurial business, there will always be times of discomfort because you're going to be moving through and stepping up all the time. But if you would like to move from the pain into a little bit of discomfort and then a bit of, kind of cruising, then I would like to invite you to take one of my discovery calls or breakthrough money calls, as I call them. I only have five available. So if you really are ready to, to experience and live from this place and show up from this place for your clients and for yourself and for your daughters and for your sons as well and for your husband and for your relationship and for your soul, then act with faith and you can apply for one of these um, breakthrough sessions. And how you can do that is if you, I'll give you the link, I think it's www.colorharmony.com forward slash apply. You'll fill in the questionnaire, send it to me, and I will get back to you. And I, you know what, even if I feel, because I'll be feeling into your energy to see, you know, where you are, um, I, we will have a, you know, we will have a short conversation just to kind of see what advice, because I'm here to serve you, I'm here to help you. You showed up, um, I'm showing up, and uh, together, the other thing to realize in all of this, you cannot do this alone. A 10K entrepreneur does not do this alone. I was preparing for this energetically, writing a couple of notes. By the way, I don't have any slides, you'll see. You will be told by some other people that you need to have the slides, you don't need the slides. A couple of pointers to keep me on track, but this is all flowing. And um, you, you, do, you can't do this alone. I had my um, cleaner come yesterday and do my ironing while I was preparing. I am um, an amazing um, heart mastermind where I have beautiful entrepreneurs who support me. I have invested uh, 20,000 euros in my own coaching and self-development so I can years coaching so I can show up and I can be present and and you know when I did that it was scary but I felt that I invested in myself like never before and I'm already getting that back in my feeling in my business in in just having somebody that that is that is at that is at the level is at that level because it's all a vibration. So when you connect in with a, a coach or a mentor that is where you want to be, then you're already linked into their vibration. So you're already you're already going to get the synchronicity, the results. This is why 
you know, clients that work with me, you'll find that, you know, they will get the breakthroughs and they will. I had someone um, who just did my VIP day there recently and we came up with um, packages and pricing. It wasn't done from the mind. It was done from, um, from tuning into the energy. So this is what this is about. If you want to sign up and see and explore where you need to go to have your 10K, then I would recommend you apply and see where it takes you. So now it's time to do the draw. So Inga, can you do the draw, please? And we're just going to ask that person that needs this the most the first name out of the draw will get the red and while that's doing i'm going to post the link it says laura laura she's still in <laughs> beautiful so laura uh, yeah, Laura. Is. Yeah, can you uh, send me your address so I can um, I can send that to you? And it's info i n f o at colorharmony dot com. I'll put that in the box again, and you can send me an email with your name and email at full name and email address, and. Um, Yay! Congratulations, Laura. Cool. Laura is the red. Uh, so the next one is green. Who needs the green? Manya. Manya. If Manya is still in, so you send me an email, Manya. Congratulations, you need the green. Beautiful. Send me your, your uh, address. And last but no means least, who needs the magenta? Justina, if I pronounce the name right. Justina. Justina? Okay, Justina, she's still alive. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, send me your, e your address. Fantastic. So just before we close, if there's any questions and answers, just um, if you have any questions that, um, or any feedback or any help or guidance, then I'll just unmute um, everybody and uh, whoever's... I'll have to you all. Hold on, it's very noisy. So raise your hand if you want to come up um, if you want to come forward or if you have a question, please feel free to put it in the chat box. You're welcome, Mania and Justina and Laura, great. <clears throat> so no questions? Okay, my darlings. I hope that's inspired you, helped you, given you food for thought and made you realize that there is nothing wrong with you all it is, is that it's showing up in a different way, being aware of all these amazing things. It's not in the doing from having to do. It's in the inspired action, taking action from a place of spiritual alignment. Wonderful. You're welcome, Claudia. Claudia, this is beautiful, amazing gratitude to you. Oh, wonderful, my darling. Okay, sending you lots of hugs, kisses, Great vibes, and I'll be in touch. Bye-bye.